Um, hi there, so I want to talk to you a little bit today about um, advertising and marketing and like what the hell is the difference between branding and print and digital and the metrics you can get in any of these things. Um, so I, I work in the, the media industry and I, I sell advertising and for me the interesting things have been coming up lately with a lot of my clients and a lot of people I've been calling and talking to is um, since Google AdWords came around it <clears throat> it's really changed a lot of the way that we advertise and the way we spend money in advertising. With AdWords, I have the luxury to be able to actually spend money and my ad can come up in front of you when you're looking for that specific product. So say for like you're looking for a magazine, you're looking for new runners, you type in those new Nikes and up pops that ad and you can click straight on that it'll go straight through and then you can actually buy your runners there and like that's the ideal cycle right somebody knows they they they're at the conversion end the bottom end of the funnel so that's actually gone down from people knowing about you and your your brand people knowing what separates you from everybody else in the awareness end or in the uh, engagement end and at the bottom of the conversion end it's actually adwords and can go straight through to that like to the straight purchase. But the thing I'm finding now is that everybody wants the what I call the direct sale. And the interesting piece is is if I've got something here, like I've got my own, like Liam's runners, and they're up and I put an ad up on AdWords that's going to be similar and show up under the same search terms, like you click on that, you have no brand recognition for it. So People keep asking me about like print and display ads like programmatic or display ads that we have like on some of our websites or things in like uh, e-newsletters and the interesting thing is everybody's always looking for the click and for me I, I bring it back to like the basics of if you're at a party and one of your friends comes over and they introduce you to this guy and I walk or I, like they bring me over and they introduce me to you and I go hey you want to buy some stuff? Like, it's just really weird. And essentially, that's what happens when you have the, what I call the straight advertising or the straight, you want the straight sale without actually building the relationship and making sure people know about your brand. And while one end of it may be that you may put your, your brand out there, your message out there in front of a certain audience, and you might not get any clicks. But the whole thing with it is, is that like at that moment somebody can actually like when your sales staff are calling a company and they see like the equivalent of like your truck on the side of the street or they have seen your ads online and they actually know the brand they go oh yeah I know you guys and then it's a different conversation whereas before that I'm calling going hey can I talk to you about whatever this is the company and they're like oh who's the company and then I have to explain what the company is what we're about what we do because there's no trust there at that point Whereas when you go in and you buy those runners and you know that brand, the money that they've spent up front has already done its job about the branding. And then when it comes down to buying the runners, the runners is like a no-brainer because you already trust and like the brand. And it's the same thing here. So for me, like any time I call you, you either know who I am or you don't. And then it's like over time we build that relationship. But if I don't have that relationship with you and I'm asking you for a sale, it's weird. So really what I like the, the, the basic thing today is that I wanted to say was with advertising, you really gotta think about it from a long term strategy. And that's the conversation I have with everybody. Yes, there may be an event right now you need to run some advertising for. I get that. But at the end of the day, if you're not building that long term strategy for you, your brand, your people, uh, something's missing. And the landscape is changing. So whether it's social media, whether it's print, whether it's uh, trade magazines, whether it's national newspapers, like whatever way you're advertising at the moment or thinking about advertising, it's taking a chance. But at the end of the day, you're either gonna take the chance and keep moving and evolving with what's gonna build, your, build and bring your business forward, or you're gonna be sitting here worried about getting the right thing. And you know, the analogy came up with like Blockbuster recently, and at some point they did a survey that said people like coming into the store to buy and rent their DVDs or their VHS and like get their popcorn, the whole family comes in. But it's like asking people 
is the way you just come into my office today, does that work? Well, I don't have any other options. That's like, I still have to get into your office today. But what happened was like Netflix came along and now I can do it at home in my underwear and I don't have to do anything. And essentially that killed that concept. And all of us, whatever our business is now, there is a chance of that happening. So you're either going to take a chance on building your brand, building your reputation, and actually like putting money behind that to get you somewhere, or you're going to be worried about getting it right. And I get that at some point you've got to justify the money that's going out to sales coming in. And that's the piece where I find it interesting in the conversation because I get to work with people like you to actually figure out what's the best way to navigate that and which medium we can actually use to leverage your business and get in front of the right audience. So for example, like we've got one of our magazines is Facility Kink and Maintenance and in that, essentially what we've got is the facility managers, the facility maintenance professionals, the building service contractors, so the actual people can, can, taking and doing the work for the facility maintenance professionals. Um, and if that's your audience, like people come along and they say, oh, I don't want to do print. I'm saying, but you just told me you wanted to be in front of facility managers in Canada. And now you're saying, of oh, the three ways I can put you in front of the audience, you want to take a big portion of it and not be in front of them. And the reason I say that is because I actually like really don't care which way we get you in front of them. But if you tell me the facility managers and the facility maintenance professionals and building service contractors is your audience, why would you not be in print? Why would you not be in one of those? Why wouldn't you be in all of those out in front of those people? And I get it. There's budget for all this stuff. Like, you know, you got whatever you got to spend and that's how it works. But at the end of the day, like that's where the gold is once you actually do the work and you figure out who your customers are then you can just spend your money and your time getting in front of those people and whether it's putting like a specific message or just getting your company brand out there that's really the only thing that matters so that's all i really wanted to leave you with today thanks